Jane Lennon. I'm with the Ashe County Arts Council in West Jefferson, and I've got another update on the arts in Ashe. February brings lots of great opportunities and a variety of art forms for folks to come enjoy in West Jefferson and throughout Ashe County. Let's start with the gallery of the Ashe Art Center. The new exhibit during the month of February is called Possibilities. Hmm, what an interesting title. And what it offers up is the possibility that you're going to see something new and different and unique and wonderful in this exhibit that's brought to us by our artist friends from nearby Allegheny County. The uh, Allegheny Artists uh, Group called the North Carolina Mountain Arts Adventure Group is a group of a dozen artists that get together regularly for artist exhibits and a studio tour in Allegheny County. They're coming over to West Jefferson uh, for the, an exhibit that runs uh, throughout the month of February and into March. Um, the kinds of artwork that you're going to see includes handcrafted heritage birds, handmade furniture, a lot of pottery, clay, and metal sculptures, decorative and functional stoneware, fine art paintings, photography, quilts, handcrafted instruments with guitars and banjos, wire-wrapped jewelry, beautiful lamp-worked glass uh, wildflower sculptures by Ronnie Hughes, stained glass designs, pottery and ceramic art. Well, it's really just limitless in terms of what our Allegheny artist friends have to offer. A beautiful, multifaceted exhibit. We invite you to come to the artist reception, the opening reception, on Friday, February 20th. That reception runs from 5 to 7 p.m. in the gallery of the Ash Art Center in downtown West Jefferson. Also in February, uh, Saturday, February 21st, is the next in the series of Word Keepers Salon. Word Keepers happens every other month in the Gallery of the Art Center, and it features the original writings of local uh, po uh, poets uh, and fiction writers, nonfiction writers. It's sort of an open mic style event. Uh, each, each writer gets five minutes to share their work. We start things off at three o'clock in the afternoon with music. Again, original, handwritten uh, songs and, and tunes by Scott Pope and Henry Doss. They'll play their uh, new songs, new tunes, from 3 until 4, and then at 4, the writing and the readings start. goes until about 6. It's a free event. It's very uh, informal, very free-flowing. If you're interested in being one of the featured uh, writers to share your work that day, uh, you do need to call to make reservations. You can call us at the Arts Council and We'll put you in touch with those folks. Word Keeper Salon is a really neat way to celebrate writing and uh, the literary arts in the high country area. And that event is on Saturday, February 21st, beginning at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We've got a great concert performance that you are not going to want to miss, and that's coming to the Ash Civic Center Tuesday, uh, February 24th. It's called Yesterday and Today, the Interactive Beatles Experience. You're going to rock to the music of the Beatles, all of your favorite Beatles tunes, all of those songs that you grew up uh, loving and continue to, to hold dear. What a great songbook that the Beatles crafted and created and shared throughout their years. And the neat thing about this show is that the audience, you, are a part of that musical experience. You'll have the opportunity to make requests for what the playlist is going to be. You'll have a chance to, to tell why it's your favorite song, why you'd like to hear it sung, and that's how the playlist is created. Totally from the audience, from audience suggestions. You name a Beatles tune, they'll be able to play it. Yesterday and today, the interactive Beatles experience, Tuesday, February 24th. This is a 7.30 p.m. Uh, concert time in the Ash Civic Center. Of course, it's reserved seating. Tickets are available in advance. The cost for tickets is $22 for adults, $5 for students. We do encourage you to call ahead to reserve your seats now. It's going to be a fun, uh, multimedia, interactive concert that you don't want to miss. Then, rounding out the month on Saturday, September 28th, we're pleased to have another Gary Poe live bluegrass and old-time radio show. 
broadcast from the stage of the Ash Civic Center. This begins a little after 11 o'clock, and Gary's guest on uh, the show on the 28th is a Young People's Review. We're really excited to celebrate the fine, young, bluegrass and old-time uh, teenage musicians that we've got in our in our community. We're going to feature Zach Arnold, Jonah Horton on a mandolin, Presley Barker, and Brandy Miller, four dynamite young people that are doing great things to pass on that heritage and that love of bluegrass and old time music. The Gary Poe WKSK Bluegrass and Old Time Radio Show broadcast live from the stage of the Ash Civic Center on Saturday, February 28th a little after 11 o'clock, and it's a free event. We invite you to come on out. Well, as you can see, there are lots of great things going on in the arts in Ashe County during the month of February. If you need more information about any of it, give us a call, 336-846-2787. You can check out this information and lots more on our website, ashcountyarts.org, or better yet, Come on over to West Jefferson. Come visit us in Ashe County and see what's going on in the arts.